For months now, the Bears have been taking steps to leave Chicago and build a new stadium in the suburbs. But they may not be the only team in town possibly looking for a new home. Cranes reports that White Sox owner Jerry Reinsdorf could be trying to move or sell the team. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar joins us live from Guaranteed Rate Field with the latest. Charlie? And Jim and Marie, to be clear, it is not exactly sure, or we aren't sure rather, when or if this potential move would happen. The White Sox have six years left on their lease here at Guaranteed Rate Field. But if you remember, we've been here before when the White Sox threatened to leave Chicago for Florida back in the late 80s. There are 60 eyes and 55 no's. It was former Governor James Thompson who was credited with keeping the White Sox in Chicago. There's even a statue in front of the stadium honoring his efforts in 1988 that prevented the team from relocating to Florida. It appeared as if the team was headed to St. Petersburg, Florida. State funds were allocated. Florida White Sox t-shirts were even sold until Governor Thompson came in at the 11th hour and wrangled enough votes to publicly fund a new stadium on the south side. Tim Nickens was a reporter and editor for the St. Petersburg Times. For more than 30 years, he covered the potential move for the paper in 88. We got the tip that Jerry Reinsdorf was coming to town to make the push in private to key Florida legislators that, about getting this money. There was a lot of excitement in 1988 because you have to remember that Florida did not have a Major League Baseball team at all. But for the businesses who depend on White Sox baseball and the fans that come out to games, the possibility of the team finding a new home is not sitting well. I hate to even think about it because I don't know then if the slow winners would sustain his business and this place. Now, a spokesman for the Chicago White Sox says at this point, no formal conversations about the lease have taken place, but with six years remaining on that lease, it is just natural that those talks would begin soon. Governor J.B. Pritzker's office also weighing in on the conversation, saying that the governor hopes that the White Sox will stay here in Chicago, but that he does not support public funds being used for private teams. Reporting live from Guaranteed Rate Field, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Jim Marie. Thank you, Charlie.